Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to explore China's most impressive mega projects. From floating stadiums and towering skyscrapers to high speed railways and expansive bridges, these engineering marvels showcase China's rapid development and innovative spirit. Join us as we delve into these remarkable structures that are transforming landscapes and setting new standards in infrastructure and urban development. Number 1. Hangzhou Bay Bridge The Hangzhou Bay Bridge is another testament to China's engineering prowess. This impressive structure, connecting the cities of Jiaxing and Ningbo, stretches nearly 36 kilometers, making it the third longest bridge over water in the world and the longest transoceanic bridge. The project required the collaboration of some of the best Chinese and British architects and involved a decade of meticulous planning and construction. Initially, the bridge was supposed to start from the suburbs of Shanghai, but due to local protests, the starting point was moved to Zhejiang province. Construction began in June 2003 and concluded in May 2008, an impressive two years ahead of schedule. The bridge, costing about $1.4 billion, has significantly reduced the travel distance between Shanghai and Ningbo by 160 kilometers. This reduction in distance has facilitated faster and more efficient transportation, promoting greater economic integration and development within the region. The Hangzhou Bay Bridge stands as a symbol of China's ability to overcome logistical and engineering challenges to achieve monumental infrastructural feats. Number 2. Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway The Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway is a crowning achievement in modern transportation. This rail line, renowned as the fastest in the world, covers a distance of 1,318 kilometers and connects Beijing and Shanghai in just four hours with trains reaching speeds of up to 380 kilometers per hour. The railway's construction began in April 2008 and was completed in an astonishing 2.5 years, a feat considering the scale of the project. The railway line includes 244 bridges and 22 tunnels, among which is the world's longest bridge, the Danyang Kunshin Grand Bridge, spanning 164 kilometers. This impressive infrastructure required meticulous planning and coordination, with more than 135,000 workers involved in the construction. The total cost of the project was approximately $33 billion, underscoring the significant investment in enhancing the nation's transportation infrastructure. The Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway not only exemplifies speed and efficiency, but also represents a significant leap in China's transportation infrastructure. With a daily passenger flow of 220,000 during peak hours and trains departing every three minutes, this railway line has revolutionized travel between two of China's major economic zones, the Bohai Bay and the Yangtze River Delta. The high-speed rail has facilitated faster business travel, tourism, and economic exchanges, contributing to the overall growth and development of the regions it connects. Number 3. Zhengzhou East Railway Station Zhengzhou East Railway Station, the largest railway station in China, opened in 2012 and has since become a pivotal transportation hub. Covering an area of 350,000 square meters, the station features 32 tracks and 30 platforms, highlighting its vast scale and capacity. The station connects to Beijing via high-speed rail, reducing travel time to just 2.5 hours, significantly enhancing connectivity between Zhengzhou and the Chinese capital. In 2013, Zhengzhou East Railway Station was integrated into the city's metro system, further improving its accessibility and convenience for travelers. A significant development for the station was the construction of the high-speed railway from Beijing to Hong Kong. This new line allows passengers to travel from Zhengzhou to West Kowloon in Hong Kong in just 6.5 hours, facilitating faster and more efficient travel between these major cities. The construction of Zhengzhou East Railway Station cost over $555 million, reflecting its importance as a key transportation hub. The station's modern design and extensive facilities ensure a comfortable and efficient travel experience for passengers, making it a crucial part of China's high-speed rail network. The station's strategic location and connectivity have significantly contributed to the economic development of the region, underscoring the transformative impact of modern transportation infrastructure. Number 4. Bay Panjang Bridge The Bay Panjang Bridge, an integral part of the Shanghai Kaming Expressway, is a remarkable feat of engineering, 
holding the title of the highest bridge in the world. This awe-inspiring suspension bridge stands 565 meters above the ground, offering travelers breathtaking views of the landscape below. Often, the bridge appears to float above the clouds, which has earned it the nickname, the Road to the Clouds. Spanning 1,341 meters, the construction of the Bay Panjang Bridge was a monumental challenge. It involved tens of thousands of workers and took nearly a decade to complete. The project commenced in 2011, but faced a two-year hiatus due to unforeseen challenges. Construction resumed in 2013 and continued for another three years, with a total investment of approximately $150 million. The bridge has significantly improved connectivity between Guanling and Qinglong counties, reducing travel time from five hours to just one hour. This enhancement in transportation has not only facilitated easier movement, but has also spurred economic growth in the region, demonstrating the profound impact of infrastructure development. Number 5. Guangzhou Baiyun International Airport Guangzhou Baiyun International Airport, located in the Huadu District, is a key aviation hub that underscores China's commitment to modernizing its infrastructure. Opened in August 2004, it replaced its namesake predecessor, which was situated closer to the city center. The new airport's location, 12 kilometers further from the center, allowed for greater expansion and modern facilities. By 2007, Guangzhou Baiyun International Airport had become China's second busiest airport, handling over 30 million passengers annually. Recognizing the increasing demand, authorities embarked on an expansion project in 2009, doubling the airport's capacity. This expansion enabled the airport to operate flights around the clock, accommodating vast numbers of passengers and significantly enhancing its capacity to handle international and domestic flights. During the global pandemic in 2020, while many airports saw a sharp decline in passenger traffic, Guangzhou Baiyun International Airport became the world's busiest airport. This was due in part to China's relatively quicker recovery and the airport's strategic importance. The construction cost of the airport exceeded $2.8 billion, reflecting its scale and modernity. Its state-of-the-art facilities, strategic location, and capacity to handle a vast number of flights have solidified its position as a crucial gateway for international and domestic travelers. Number 6. Floating Stadiums Floating stadiums are revolutionizing the concept of sports venues worldwide. The most notable example is in Marina Bay, Singapore. This architectural wonder, with a seating capacity of 30,000, offers spectators an extraordinary experience of watching events on water, enhancing the overall ambience and spectator engagement. However, China is on the verge of surpassing this marvel with an even more ambitious project. The proposed floating stadium, recently revealed online, is designed to hold over 100,000 spectators, making it the largest of its kind globally. The stadium's design, resembling a blooming lotus flower, isn't just a stylistic choice. The lotus flower holds significant cultural value in China, symbolizing peace, purity, and harmony. This design choice aims to reflect these values, creating not just a sports venue but a cultural landmark. Although specific details regarding the construction timeline and cost are yet to be disclosed, expectations are high that this floating stadium will set new records in terms of size and expenditure, reinforcing China's position as a leader in architectural innovation and engineering. Number 7. Beijing South Railway Station Beijing South Railway Station, inaugurated in August 2008 in preparation for the Beijing Olympics, is a testament to modern architecture and engineering. As the second-largest railway station in Asia, it covers an expansive area of 320,000 square meters and features 24 platforms, capable of serving up to 30,000 passengers per hour. Designed by British architects TFB Farrells and Tannen University, the station boasts a unique design resembling an ancient marine arthropod, a trilobite. This architectural masterpiece not only serves as a major transportation hub, but also offers a host of amenities to passengers. Inside the station, travelers can enjoy numerous shops, restaurants, and luxurious waiting areas. The station provides common and VIP waiting rooms, ensuring comfort and convenience for all passengers. The construction of Beijing South Railway Station was a massive undertaking, involving the use of 60,000 tons of steel and almost 500,000 tons of concrete, 
with over 4,000 workers participating in its construction. The station's design and infrastructure reflect a blend of functionality and aesthetic appeal, making it a significant landmark in Beijing. Its ability to handle a large volume of passengers efficiently underscores China's commitment to enhancing its transportation infrastructure to meet the growing demands of its population and economy. Number 9. Suzhou Industrial Park The Suzhou Industrial Park, established in February 1994, is a joint venture between China and Singapore that has become a model of successful economic collaboration. Spanning 278 square kilometers, the park was inspired by Singapore's advanced infrastructure development and aimed to replicate its success in China. Initially, the project faced significant financial difficulties, running at a loss of over $23.5 million by 1999. However, China continued to invest in the park, focusing on real estate and attracting major investors. These efforts eventually paid off, and by 2019, the Suzhou Industrial Park had become home to over 25,000 companies, with foreign trade volumes exceeding $1 trillion. The park's success can be attributed to its strategic planning, attractive investment policies, and the collaboration between China and Singapore. It has become a major economic hub, contributing significantly to the region's growth and development. The Suzhou Industrial Park is now considered one of China's most successful development zones, attracting high-tech industries, research and development centers, and multinational corporations. Its success demonstrates China's economic acumen and ability to transform challenging projects into profitable ventures. The park's continued growth and development highlight the potential for international collaboration in driving economic progress. Number 10. Beijing Capital International Airport the Dragon Terminal. Beijing Capital International Airport, situated 20 kilometers from the center of Beijing, is the largest airport in China and the second busiest in the world in terms of passenger traffic. The airport consists of three terminals, with Terminal 3, also known as the Dragon Terminal, being the largest. Opened in February 2008, Terminal 3 covers an area of nearly a million square meters, making it one of the largest airport complexes globally. Terminal 3 features advanced infrastructure, including an underground parking lot with 2,000 spaces, mother and child rooms, rooms for disabled individuals, and over 200 devices for easy navigation. It also houses an extensive range of shops, restaurants, and other amenities, ensuring a comfortable and convenient experience for travelers. The terminal's design and facilities reflect a blend of modern technology and thoughtful planning, aimed at accommodating the vast number of passengers it serves. The construction of Terminal 3, costing over $3.5 billion, was part of a broader effort to modernize and expand Beijing Capital International Airport in preparation for the 2008 Olympics. The terminal serves as the main base for representatives of aviation alliances such as Air China, One World, and Star Alliance. Its capacity to handle a large volume of flights and passengers has made it a crucial hub for international and domestic travel, solidifying Beijing's status as a global aviation center. These mega-projects showcase China's remarkable ability to undertake and complete ambitious infrastructure developments.